Welcome back to NBA Today. We are just 22 days away from the beginning of the season, but one of the storylines that has dominated this offseason is the Suns and Robert Sarver. And earlier in our show, we heard from Suns players for the first time since Sarver announced that he is beginning the process to sell the team. Now, let's hear other reaction from around the league. In reference to the, the, that word, um, I don't like it. I never have, especially when I was younger and I learned what that word meant. I learned how demeaning it was towards uh, humanity, not just black folks. And when I, I saw the report, I was not happy about it, quite frankly, disgusted. It was tough, just like anybody, you know, reading all the different things as far as the N word and uh, but um, it was more so also the things that people have to endure in the workplace, you know, so reading all of it, it was it was tough, probably just like anybody else. I think the outcome was exactly what should have happened. I think uh, I had conversations with Adam Silver directly and kind of got his point of view of what decisions and um, I guess mechanisms he had to intervene and and bring down a punishment that was worthy of you know the the actions that you know we're, we're all responding to and representing the the league. I think our stance was easy. It was simple. Uh, that's, there's no place for that in our game, and we wanted to do all we could within our power. And yeah. we expressed that to Adam. I had conversations with Adam, uh, a lot of conversations with Adam. Players, Tamika and I were meeting you know two three times a day. We had a group wow. call with some Phoenix Suns players to kind of go over next steps, how they're feeling, what they're hearing, um, how can we kind of not just accommodate them, but provide them with information, resources, and then an understanding of what we're going to do going forward. And mm. um, we're thankful that um, we were able to not, not resolve the issue, obviously, but um, make some potential changes down the road in which he will be selling his team. And mm. um, hopefully um, not just the organization, but the players and the people that were affected by this will eventually be able to put this behind them. Joined now by our senior writer, Brian Windhorst. Brian, you are in Phoenix right now. You were in the room listening to players speak for the first time on these issues. What stood out to you? Malika, today was like a dentist office waiting room. There was absolutely no enthusiasm, no excitement at all. Uh, media day, uh, typically, even for teams in difficult situations, is a, is a new beginning, and there's a lot of smiles. I can tell you that in the first hour and a half, where all the discussion was about Robert Sarver, was about Jay Crowder not reporting to training camp, was about you know issues with other people's contracts, there was one smile cracked in the first 90 minutes of these press conferences, and that was when Devin Booker made a joke about being on the cover of of NBA 2K. Um, I've never seen uh, a situation like this. The players um, are still uh, in, a, in a state of shock over this. Um, every single one of them and the front office and Monty Williams came up and said that they were stunned by this report. Uh, Devin Booker was very effusive saying this is not the Robert Sarver that I've known for seven years. Um, James Jones, who in this report from Baxter Holmes first came out a year ago almost, said this, not the, this doesn't describe the Robert Sarver I know, and he said that again today. So this is a team that is very much right now hurting for a number of different reasons, and the positive momentum from 64 wins last season, from the fact that Booker got an extension, Monty got an extension, Aiton got an extension, mm -hmm. um, you know, James Jones got an extension that was completely vaporized by the time we were talking to them today. Brian Windhorst, thank you so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.